so, so it sounds to me as if, as if he's functioning with a pretty uh, uh, conventional uh, Marxist understanding of this, uh, which emphasizes that humans are alienated, and they're alienated particularly from, uh, from their, their production. Uh, and that what it means to be fully human, it, it's almost as if you really don't want to say rehumanize, but to humanize, because the entire Marxist understanding is that people have never, by this understanding of being fully uh, themselves as producers and creative beings in the, in the act of production, right? Because that's crucial to Marx, is that you're, you're not only losing the, 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 the effort you, you put into producing something, you're, you're losing your, your right to be creative in the enterprise, which is deeply connected to who you are. That, that, that is not only something that's never happened in human history for most people, because of, uh, of this oppression which has been universal. So the goal is therefore to humanize. It therefore su suggests, uh, and, and, and I'm wondering if, uh, if Frere would, would, would agree with this, almost like it's a, tele it's a Marx, Marxist teleology. Marx is a clear teleology, right? We have, we have an end of history. Uh, and that end of history comes when everyone uh, understand is is free from false consciousness, uh, is is entirely free to uh, to to get the products of their, the produce of their labor and are, are fully a part of a society without without power relations. Um, is uh, is that accurate? Is he operating with that kind of of broader Marxist understanding of alienation and of the human and? Which I, which I suspect at least partially true, and yet he does seem to suggest, well, he doesn't, just, he doesn't seem to suggest, he argues that this is permanent, we ought to be engaged in permanent liberation, which suggests something other than, than a final teleology, an end to history that Marx would give us. Well, to start with the end part of your question, why does Frere suggest that this revolutionary approach to education have to go on and on. Well, because if the starting point of reality is contradiction and the starting point of education is problem solving, then everything about education has to be resolving a contradiction. And every time you resolve a contradiction through a synthesis, you, you get a new contradiction. And so he's acknowledging this. And there's no resol final resolution as, a Marx, as Marx would argue. There's just always a new contradiction. In, uh, in, into the indefinite future. I wouldn't say Frere puts it in those words, but he leaves it unsaid what would be the principle of integration. There's a, there's a synthesis of contradiction, but there's always born another contradiction mm -hmm. because he, there's no metaphysical essence that he identifies. There's no fixed human nature, right? There's no divine creator, at least not one that he specifies. So it seems to me that the process gets locked in this kind of repetitive nature um, that you always go back to a contradiction and you always go looking for a problem to be solved. There's no place in this lexicon that I can see for contemplation. So it's constant revolution is transformation. But, but, but transformation. Transforming the world. So, so, uh, so, so is so this word transformation, which seems so important to this, uh, it, it suggests that uh, something different from formation, which we talked about with Maritan, right? Uh, so, what does. It, it, I would also add that transformation seems to be one of the code words of higher education today. Uh, People will say the purpose of education, the reason you come to college is transformation. This is, a lot of administrators say this, for instance. So what does it mean to transform and how does that differ from, from formation that Maritan would, would, uh, uh, calls us to, calls education to? Well, again, I think people are drawn to Frere because they like the idea of transformation, but they might mean it more in the sense of the way Maritan means that it has a truly personal dimension of coming to develop moral and intellectual virtues, coming to know one's vocation in the world, 
and approaching the world with a sense of purpose and meaning. But my concern is that I'm not sure that Frere can get us that kind of transformation because the way he's using the word transformation is a movement towards this revolution in the means of production, but a revolution that's kind of, that's never ending, right? And when you step outside of that telos, it's not clear that Frere's lexicon can help you.